I think having a spiritual guardian has been a really fantastic new concept for me. One of the things that I love the most is that it's based on a genuine, authentic relationship. If I've got a struggle, I can go to her. And if she's got one, I know that she can talk to me as well. For me personally, I believe that my devotions are the most important part of my day. And I notice the difference in my own life, in the way I interact with other people, and the way I carry myself as a Christian, if I do not, as the very first thing I do every morning, seek God first. The first thing I do when I get up in the morning is to roll out of bed onto my knees and pray. And pray and dedicate that day to God. And then from there, I'll then go and read my Bible. I'll journal a lot of the prayers and the points that I'm sort of wrestling through. I'll dedicate half an hour to doing a time of study and then I'll come back and pray as well. But I believe my job is more than just a job. I believe it's a mission field. And because of that, I pray for divine appointments every day in my workplace. I actually think that that's been a big part of my growth. When I first got convicted to pray for patients, I remember saying, God, I, I can't do that. Um, it, where we live in a secular world. And I got convicted that if you don't offer prayer, you've already made the decision for them. That, for me, was something that really grew me. When I stepped out in faith and did offer prayer, the person said yes, and I got to pray with a patient. I got deeply convicted that, how did I hold that back from people before? I remember how grateful the mother was. She thanked me, she cried, and she hugged me. And all I felt was a little, still small voice of the Spirit of God going, see, it wasn't that bad. And for me, I grew more when I was in those positions of praying for others. And I grew more when I pray for my colleagues, when I'm trying to witness to my colleagues, when I'm trying to pray for my patients, than I do when I'm just sitting there and getting comfortable. God had done so much in my life. How could I ever show my gratitude?